Hello everyone and welcome to lesson 3-5 from your study guide found on pages 61 and 62. As always, we need to scan the lesson 3-5 and see what it's about, if we can come up with a summary. Now, as we've already done it, you know that it's, a, it's about adding and subtracting like fractions, remember, with the same denominator. So we're going to um, learn how to add mixed numbers. So please go ahead and copy this down as you see it. And we're also going to learn how to subtract mixed numbers with regrouping. Now remember, regrouping is when we regroup the first one that we're taking away from in order to have enough to be taken away from. What I mean by that is that you'll see it in a, in a minute, actually. Okay, for the next part, let's look at the real-world link. Technology. In a survey, users of e-readers were asked to describe why they prefer e-readers over books. The two most common response, responses are shown below. Reasons. Let's zoom in so that we can see this a little better. It's possible to change the font size and read faster. Fraction of responses. So one eighth of the group gave this response. Okay. The device is portable and convenient. Five eighths, so more than half, gave this response. Okay, so what does this information really mean? How can we break this up? Well, we know that it's, it's a whole, and the whole is broken up into eight parts. Now let's take this line here and make it our whole and break it up into eight different parts. I always like to start with the half, so I find the, the half point like that, and then on each side I'm going to have four points because it's eight in total. So let's see what I did over here. First, divide the vertical number line shown into eighths, okay? So eighths, because the whole is divided into eighths. So you can see that I started with zero, one eighth, two eighth, three eighth, four eighth, five eighth, six eighth, seven eighth, and then a whole, eight over eight, right? Graph a point that shows the fraction of people in the survey who chose the first reason. So the first reason is one eighth. We find one eighth, and there it is. So we graph it. We put the dot right there. From that point, add the fraction of people who chose the second reason. So we have to add five out of eight, another five. So one, two, three, four, five. See that? And then graph the second point shown in the sum. So then we graph that one and we see the difference between the two or the sum. So we add it up and we go from what, what do we have there if you were to, able to count the points. So at the bottom of the page, you'll see that we have one eighth plus five eighth equals Remember, we have, we have to have this, the common denominator to add them, and it's already been given to us, so we can go ahead and just write 8 at the bottom, okay? And 1 plus 5 equals 6. They're both multiples of 2, so we can simplify this. How many 2's do I have at the top, and how many 2's do I have at the bottom? Well, at the top I have 3 of them, and at the bottom I have 4 of them. Or you can just divide both by 2. And you see that we have 3 quarters. So final answer is your therefore statement is what fraction of people surveyed chose the reasons listed in the table? Three quarters of the people chose the reasons listed on the table. Okay, on the next page we're going to really break down and give these visuals on how to add fractions. This is page uh, 100, sorry, 62, on page 62. Alright, again we have a common denominator of 12 and this is our whole number broken into 12. Right? So 12 sections. The first one we have 5. So go ahead and call them in because you have 5 out of 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now we have another 3. 3 out of 12. And there you go. You should have something that looks like this. So now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 out of 12. Right? So we can write that down. 8 out of 12. And that's what it means. Remember, these are both multiples of 2. So you can simplify. When you divide both by 2, you get 4 over 6, and again, there's still multiples of 2. Actually, they were multiples of 4. If you look for the highest common multiple, you have multiples of 4, and you have 2 thirds. How, how is it 2 thirds? Well, really, I can take this entire whole and break it up into three sections, where I have one section here, one, two, and then we have three, a third one here. So what, I have two out of three. You see that? Two out of the whole three, two-thirds. And now we have subtraction. We have seven-eighths plus negative three-eighths. So we're saying I have seven-eighths and then three-eighths were taken away, and three-eighths were taken away. So let's write, let's draw what seven-eighths looks like. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this, seven out of eight, and I'm going to take away three of them. So really, this one, I'm taking away one, two, and three. Okay, those have been 
um, taken back or they're blank and this is all I have left over right here this okay so what do I have left over I have four eighths right if we simplify that we only have a half because four is half of eight we have a half and you can see that right there this is half of the entire thing okay boys and girls for this section now that we've practiced adding and subtracting fractions or rational numbers go ahead and try this on your own please try it on your own and then check to see that you got the correct answer I'm going to put up the correct answer in just a minute but remember try it on your own so that you challenge yourself and you and you and you better prepare for the test so go ahead pause the video okay for the first column on the on the left side I know that I skipped every other one but for the odd numbers I have uh, negative 5 minus 2 I already have 5 minus 2, it's, remember you just keep the same common denominator, I, I have negative 7. Okay, so it's like owing $5 and then you owe another another 2, so now you owe negative 7. Uh, 4 minus 9 takes you all the way to the negative 5. And then 6 minus minus, remember you're taking away the negatives, so it, it's actually like adding, it's 11 eighths. This is an improper fraction, so you have to see how many eighths you have in 11. You have one of them and you have 3 left over. Okay, let's try the even numbers. Okay, so now we have uh, 5 and 8 15 minus 1 and 8 15. These are 8 15, 8 15 are exactly the same, so they cancel each other out. And now I just have 5 minus 1, which equals 4. Okay? Here we have um, 3 minus 9 is negative 6. And you know that these are both multiples of 2, so you can simplify it to 3 fifth, negative 3 fifth. And over here I have negative 5 minus 3. Goes all the way down to negative 8, but then you have to change this to a mixed number, so it's negative 1, 1, 7. Okay, if you have any questions on these, make sure that you put a star on it and ask me in class. Okay? Or just write the word ask, and I'll be happy to answer those questions. And finally, for your lesson summary, remember you can always go back to the beginning where we wrote that we were learning about adding mixed numbers and rational numbers. Um, remember that the, the section over here also reminds you what we learned. So um, right over here, a quick summary of what you learned today.